In Ghani, students will be required to wear masks when they head back to school next week. According to a report in the Brunswick News, school board members voted to make masks mandatory for at least the first semester. News Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live. And Brittany, the board made that change last night. Bruce Jen, good morning. According to the Brunswick News, during last night's meeting, some board members expressed concerns of what this means in practical terms, but ultimately voted to require masks for everyone when school begins next week. It will remain in effect for the first semester. Then the board will uh, reevaluate uh, the policy after that. Prior to the mask requirement, Glenn schools only required staff to wear masks. Students were strongly encouraged to wear one. As Glenn County prepares to return to school on Thursday, August 20th, it's operating under enhanced mitigation measures. This means random temperature and symptom screenings, clean and disinfect frequently touched areas, provide hand sanitizer, masks, and other PPE. Use virtual tools for meetings as much as possible. Restricting visitors and staggering class changes use of playground and cafeteria visits. Meals will be served in a grab and go style. Masks will also be required on the bus. As of right now, Glynn County is the only district in Southeast Georgia that requires masks for students. Camden, Brantley, Ware, Charlton and Pierce counties are encouraging students to wear masks. Health department officials are also helping two school districts with contact tracing. This after students tested positive for COVID-19 on the first day of school. A high schooler in Pierce County and a student at Folkestone Elementary in Charlton County both tested positive. Charlton County Superintendent John Larcy says seven students are now in quarantine. Schools will close early today for a previously scheduled deep cleaning. Again, Glynn County Schools is the only school district in our southeast Georgia area to require face coverings for everyone when school returns next week on Thursday, August 20th. Now, Glynn Schools is offering two options in person as well as the virtual option. It also says that meal service will be provided for all virtual learners to sign up and more details head to newsforjax.com. Reporting live this morning, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station.